Shalom, Shalom. This is the brother Danya Allah coming back again with another lesson. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Merikakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Mill of, of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful like brothers and sisters that believe in this word and that fear in the most high. Right? And um I was watching this video by uh, the elder Yashawamba uh, here with his YouTube panel, uh, uh, Remnant Save 144. Uh, and the title of the video is One Body Says Moses Did Not Part the Red Sea. Now, I'm going to play this and I'm going to get some scriptures because uh, let me let me just play this first. Listen. Giving our praises to the Most High and the Son, Yahweh Shai. Um, today's class Moses never divided a Red Sea, but he rebuked a wicked nation. Same thing we're doing today. We are killing the lies that we have been taught. And the thing is, before they they see the title, like I always say, and they run their mouth, man. Right. That lets you know when you see somebody out there running their mouth, they didn't say, well, I watched the class in its entirety. And you didn't prove what you was teaching. They'll see a title and it mess with their computer chip. You know, the ones out there that are talking about a chip. See? Give me uh, Jeremiah 725. Yeah. Right, so. Hey, man, basically he said Moses never parted the Red Sea. Which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous and is not based upon faith. Right? It's not based upon the scriptures. Okay? Um, I want to play some more. Hold on. Now you see right there, he's mocking, you know, the MOTB. But is that is that is that actually a technology that's being pushed in these times? What should the Israelites do if it's presented? It's very, uh, uh, you know, it's very clear that that's where the world is going. So what should Israel do? And ultimately, they're speaking to us. Show you the problem. Because I think some people don't know what they was what they dealing with. Just like Israel when they came out of Egypt. Read that uh, the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter seven and verse forty-five. Since the day that your fathers came out of Egypt, I have been with you. Since the day that you So basically, he's saying uh, that if if Moses, a hey, basically he's saying spiritual power, okay, the spiritual power that Moses used, all right, in order to divide that sea through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, is witchcraft, because that's uh, that's what you call a miracle. All right, a, a great work to distinguish um, who the Most High is dealing with. All right, and the power of the Most High. Right now, you got that on the left hand, and you got that on the right hand. Right, but 
the the vibration that these this one body is pushing is a faithless vibration. Okay? And this is what they're pushing on their congregation, man. So hey, they're gonna lead their their con they're leading their congregation astray. Right? Because when the time comes um to where the Lord starts to reveal the uh spiritual power, okay, and you know, certain brothers and sisters are are being healed of their ailments. Right, uh, being protected by certain uh, 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 individuals with the spiritual power. Right, they're, you know, instead of <laughs> the, the, the basically their congregation is going to think that it's witchcraft and that they're evil. Right. Nature. You but see, our people they want some miracles, man. Y'all hear that shit? He said, if Moses did split the Red Sea, that's witchcraft. We're looking. Right. So, hey, man, let me get these precepts real quick. Because, hey, they're, they're pushing a faithless vibration. When you read all throughout the scriptures, the Lord shows his power. All right. That spiritual power through uh, particular men. Right? Especially our Lord Yahawashai. Right? And this, you know, he said, uh, he said that is that's that's against nature. Right? Like 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 uh being able to do that is 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 uh like hey man, the most high is far out. So what do you expect? The most high does things in dramatic fashion, all right, in the glorious way. Right, it's, it's it's like you know, they're they're trying to put the Most High and His ability, His power in a box, right? Um, let me get this Psalms chapter one thirty one. Sorry, uh, something. Uh, Psalms chapter uh one hundred and thirteen. Right. Um. I'll start at verse 1. It says, Praise ye Yahweh. Praise, O ye servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. It says, Blessed be the name of Yahweh from this time forth and forevermore, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Yahweh's name is to be praised. Right? Which that is the Heavenly Father, the, the Supreme Power. It says, Yahweh is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. So the most high is high above us and far above us, right? Not only uh, uh, the Lord is, 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 is uh, 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 not only does he, you know, he dwell in the heavens, right? You know, and his presence, his presence is everywhere. Right. But uh, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So the things that the Lord uh, is able to do. All right. Uh, in terms of, of, of great miracles. OK. is high above our comprehension. Right. Um, let me grab this real quick. This is uh, Isaiah. We're going to go to Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. We're right to it. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, uh, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. So the most high... Hey, he made so many magnificent things that are on the earth that we that is beyond beyond our comprehension, man. You know, things that are are, are strange and that seem 
out of this world. Um, like example. Um, let me see. The different creatures the Lord creates, man. That seem out of this world, man. Let me grab this real Time quick. Is Fifi Overdraft with Spot Me. If you need a little extra cash at the end of the month, it's there. Up to $200 when you set up direct deposit. It's a lot. You got these commercials. sure i'm still going okay cool right like for example a cuttlefish man you know and we're about to see how odd and strange and out of this world uh this this particular creature operates that the most i created man you know and it's it's like you know hey just like the elder yashua said in this video you know, they say that the Lord didn't perform miracles. You know, he didn't walk on water and things of the such. But you have animals that can walk on water. You got lizards that can walk on water. Spiders that can that can run on water, man. You know? Um. So this is a cuttlefish. And, and this is, is a very odd and out of this world creature, man. It seems out of this world, but it's on the earth. It has powerful claws. The cuttlefish, however, has a remarkable talent. Its skin contains millions of pigment cells with which it can create ever-changing colors and patterns. Look at that. That, apparently. that looked like something out of some sci-fi movie, man. Right? And that's just a uh, an example on the earth of how the Most High is, is far out. And he has things created that's far above our comprehension, man. You know, so the Most High, it, you can't put the Most High in a box. Right? When the scripture says that the Lord walked on water, he actually walked on water. When he turned water into wine, he actually turned water into wine. And yes, these different things do have uh, other uh, spiritual things that you can extract from there, uh, spiritual uh, uh, meanings and comparisons. But the Lord actually did these things. Elijah actually called down fire from the heavens. Moses actually did split the sea, man. Okay. But if you have uh if you're push if you and a hey, as you know these guys must be agents man because they they're they're saying all kinds of things that is that is obviously you know if you're in your right mind that is obviously not true that you can find out with a little bit of research but of course you have to have the Holy Spirit. Okay, but um, let's let's go back here to uh, this right here. It says, "Who is like unto the Lord?" This Psalms uh, one thirteen and um, uh, five. It says, "Who is like unto the Lord, our power, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth who humbleth himself." To behold the things that are in heaven and in the earth. Right? So, hey, the point is that the Most High is, is far out, man. All right? He's high and in, in, in infinitely, uh, uh, you know, past us, man. You know? Um, right? That's why it says, who is like the Most High? <laughs> right? Uh now let me grab this too because 
the vibration that they're pushing out is a a faithless vibration and that 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 will get get you destroyed man it says um right here it says uh let's let's read this second Ezra chapter 15 I'll start at verse 1 it says behold speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth saith the Lord so we're supposed to prophesy okay based upon the words from the scripture and a part of the prophecy is that the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai are going to perform great feats Great miracles, flying, running, and not growing weary, man. It said, and then I got a precept too. Um, I got a precept too. Uh, where is it at? Zechariah 12, at verse 8. It says, In that day, the Lord shall, shall, like you, shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And he that is feeble among them, right, meaning they're weak, at that day shall be as David. David was a great warrior. Not only that, on the battlefield, the Lord gave David spiritual power. He and his 37 mighty men, all right, to, to, to fight off armies of, 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 of heathen, man. <clears throat> and and the house of David shall be as a uh, uh, power man. It says as the angel of the Lord before them. Now, don't the angels perform miracles? So wait a minute. The angels are performing witchcraft. Don't the angels perform miracles too? Don't they do? Don't they have? That spiritual power, right? In order to be like an angel of the Most High, you have to have that spiritual power, right? So this this is coming, man. It's prophesied in the scriptures that the Lord is going to lift up a standard. This is coming, right? Uh, back to uh, Second Ezra 15, uh, verse 2. It says, And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And you know, a hey, one body speak against us. Uh, IUIC, uh, ISUPK, all of them. Right? But, you know, we're not going to let that uh, uh, phase us, right? Because they're the ones who are being um, unfaithful, especially one body who, who we, uh, who, who's the, uh, the camp in question, right? They're pushing a, a, uh, a vibration of not to believe in the miracles of the Lord, Okay, here it is. The Lord can create the heavens and the earth and all the spirits and all the angels and all the and everything. You know what? Let me grab that real quick. And call all you how about Shemiah was shy for, you know, give me the spirit to do this video because boy, oh boy, I was struggling early, earlier, falling asleep. Um. We're going to go to uh, the book of Colossians, chapter 1. Where we at? 11. Is there some? Right, 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 right. So, uh, Colossians, chapter 1. Verse 13, it says, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Who is that? The Lord Yahawashai. It says, uh, In whom we have redemption through his blood, 
even the forgiveness of sin. So it's through the Lord Yahweh sacrifice that we have redemption. All right. All right. Even forgiveness of sins. It says, who is the image of the invisible power? So he's the image of the heavenly father. The firstborn of every creature. The first spirit to ever be created. Right. For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities, right? The angels or powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, and by him all things consist. So if the Lord can create everything in existence, the Lord can create things. He created the things that you see and don't see. You don't see the wind, but the wind, a wind strong enough can blow, can make a house explode, man. Right? So if the Lord can create these different things and... and Create these all these all things in existence. You mean to tell me that he can't give Moses some power, some 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 uh, uh, spiritual power to split the sea? And to the most high, that's a small thing. Nothing is too uh, uh, too uh, uh, great for the most high. That's a small thing. So, hey, like like I said, with that mentality is like you're trying to put the most high in a box. The most high don't perform miracles, right? It's in a sense with, with their that vibration that they're pushing, man. Right? Um, right? It says, uh, I'll read this again. It said, uh, verse 4, 2 Ezra 15 and 4, For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So, that's the vibration that one body is pushing. You know? The Lord is going to have to perform great miracles in order for us to be preserved and delivered. We're coming into a time like never before. So the Lord is going to, he's going to turn up the, uh, the, um, <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? He's going to turn up the, uh, the deliverances, man, being delivered from these different situations, man, in miraculous ways. Right? Um, now what I did is I looked up these words here. Um, I looked up these words here for in in the Hebrew and in the Greek for the word miracle, right? Because here we're gonna go to um, real quick. Oh, I messed that up. For the word miracle, we're going to go to Exodus chapter 7, right? Right, this is Exodus chapter 7. You can see up here in the, in the, uh, the little heading, it says, Aaron, Aaron's rod becomes a serpent. It says, and the Lord spake unto Moses, uh, 7 and 8, the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, saying, when Pharaoh shall speak unto you, saying, shew a miracle for you, then thou shalt say unto Aaron, take thy rod and cast it before Pharaoh, and it shall become a serpent. Right? So, when you get that word for miracle in the Hebrew... That word for miracle is, uh, we're going to get it. That word for miracle is mawapath, right? Mawapath. It says a wonder, a sign, 
right? So a wonder is uh, something that you, that is performed that makes you uh, amazed. You wonder at it, right? It says a sign, a miracle, portent. It says wonder, a special display of the Most High's power. Don't you believe in the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? Don't you believe in his power? So I can tell you one thing. King David believed. How do you think he was fighting all these different men and leaping over walls and running through a troop? Because he believed in the power of the Most High. And the Lord gave him spiritual power. What about Samson? The Lord gave Samson his spiritual power too. Oh, Samson wasn't, he didn't really, you know, slay a thousand men with the jawbone of an ass. Right? Or, 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 or break the pillars of a, of a palace and had it fall on the Philistines. He didn't really do that. And if he did, that, ooh, that was witchcraft. Right? These great feats and miracles is 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 a uh, a display of the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. On the right hand, it says uh, sign token, right? So when he says show a miracle for you, meaning show uh, sh show uh, basically. Show me the power of your of your God, basically. Right? Show me the power of your God is basically what he was saying, man. Because hey, he had let's let's read on. Let's we can actually just read on with that. Right? Um verse 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 ten. And Moses went in unto Pharaoh, and they did so as the Lord had commanded. And Aaron cast down his rod before Pharaoh and before his servants, and it became a serpent. And Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, right? So they had their 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 left-handed priests, their left left-hand priesthood. You know, they're witches and they're warlocks, they're magician, they're magi, right? There you go, the magicians. It says sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt, they also did in like manner with their enchantments. So wait a minute. Are they both performing witchcraft? Because one distinctly said that uh, these were sorcerers. And magic, let's look up the word sorcerer real quick, man. The importance of looking up words, right? So that word for sorcerer is kashap. It says, to practice witchcraft or sorcery, use witchcraft. Now they said this for the Egyptians. Why didn't they say Why wasn't it said for Moses and Aaron? Or in this particular case, Aaron. Who did who performed the miracle, right? So that's the word for sort. Oh, what about magicians? Which is uh, uh, cha, charatum, right? For the word magician, it says deep diviner, which diviner just basically means um, oh, a witch or a warlock, right? Divination goes into witchcraft. Magician, astrologer, engraver, writer, only a derivative sense. So, yeah, right. A magician, an astrologer, right? Here's the root. Okay, yeah. So, the root goes back to someone who uh, engraves, right? It says uh, with, their, with their enchantments. Let's look at the word enchantment, right? So there was there was chant. They said with their enchant. Now to enchant means to uh, put uh, to basically to put a spell on. Okay. Oh, interesting. 
This is La La Hot for the word enchantment. It says to burn, blaze, scorch. Okay. So I'm not gonna break that down. I have to look further into that. Right? So basically <laughs> It mentions witches and warlocks and uh, magicians on the behalf of the Egyptians. But why didn't it say so for Aaron? Right? Because you have what? Miracles that can be performed on the right hand and the left hand. Right? Right now, you have uh, people, uh, you know, that be magicians, so-called magicians, that... You know, perform for people in public. They're floating. They're walking on water. They're they're doing all types of uh, of things that are really that bug people out. But they're doing it by Satan on the left hand, right? But the Lord is going to turn up the right hand for His men to perform great miracles. All right, for the sake of uh, a, a defense and and, and uh, a preservation unto salvation. Right. Um, so. Verse 12, it says, for they cast down every man his rod. They became serpents, but Aaron's rod swallowed up their rods. Right. So the serpent. That came from Aaron's rod. Um, the rod that he had in his hand. It swallowed up their rods. Which lets you know what. That means what. That the power of the right hand. Of the most high. Is more powerful than the left. Right. Now. It's witchcraft. When you go for, for power. On the wrong side man. Through the left hand instead of coming uh, right uh, righteously, that's when it's witchcraft. Okay, and the Lord, the heavenly Father, told Moses to do so, to tell Aaron to cast down his rod, right, to show a miracle. The Lord told Moses to perform uh, uh, certain miracles to prove to his people that the Lord truly sent him. Right. And this is how uh, the believers of the Lord, Yahweh Shai knew. That's one of the ways that they knew that the Lord was the son of the Most High because of the great miracles and, and ones and, 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 and power that he was showing that the Most High gave him the power to do. Right. So. You know. And this, you know, this is a part of, you know, um, a the vision, man. This is a part of, of the vision. Understanding that the Lord is going to use uh, spiritual power, all right, and divine intervention to save his people. To preserve the remnant, the elect of, of the nation of Israel. Okay. And, and what these guys at one body do is they're, they're destroying that vision for their believers. Right. They're not giving them the right uh, 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 vision, the right uh, thing to think upon when it comes to salvation. Right. Which is going to lead to the destruction of their congregation and their destruction also because they're going to be held accountable for their blood. Right. Um. I'm gonna end the priest. I'm gonna end it off with this. This is Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So you know, Lord willing, you were edified. You know, call all y'all by Shemiah with Shai by Shemar Kakwadash, the born to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the whole elect. Shalom.